Yada. EA Sports. It's in the game. I do got to fix this later on. Like Now, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't hear any of the music or anything, but that's fine. I'm I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So, I'm learning to pre-adjust for everything and for the future. But yeah, let's get in some Madden. Let me let, let me update the info now so people know we on some Madden. I'm let this load up real fast. Okay, okay. All right, so it now should be updated on the title. I just did the title update because you know I don't I don't got a mod or nothing. I'm not that far up yet. One day maybe, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> but all right. About to get popping with some Madden, baby. Now, one thing I gotta make sure to do, I know for a fact the music is on here. So, um, yeah, I hope I don't get striked for any music. Oh, the music's already off. Never mind. Oh yeah, now I remember. I purposely turned off the music because me, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of the soundtrack, but I'm just not interested in the soundtrack. So let me go ahead and wipe my head real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and hop in some superstar mode. Alright, y'all. So we are now switched over to some Madden. One of the other games I truly enjoy playing. Now, as you see here, I have a quarterback who's only at level six because I freshly started off the quarterback side of it because I don't I I don't know. I'm not that good of a quarterback all the time, so that's something I do need to improve on. But as you see here, I'm level 33 as a running back. For the Buccaneers because honestly I've been having a great run as a as a as a halfback right now my guy has already became a super Super Bowl winner and rookie of the year within the first year the second year one of the best players but we got to the Super Bowl but we didn't win so now the goal in this third year is that we're trying to now make it there so I think we're gonna go ahead and play the halfback one a little bit so that way y'all get a taste of, of, of how I get down I'm trying to think where to where where should I put this thing? You know, what? I think this spot might work. I think it might work. We'll, we'll we'll give it a shot. I might move it around a lot. You know me.
Hold on, make sure everything's running good. All right, cool, cool. So you guys can see the stream. Good, good. That's that's all I was wanting to make sure. I just wanted to make sure y'all could see it. All right. So let's go ahead and get ourselves warmed up, of course, and then we're gonna hop into the game. Now, like I said, I've gotten pretty far, so you already see I'm already at 89. I I do enjoy playing this game on my off time a lot. I'm I'm not the biggest football fan, but when I was younger, I used to be definitely more of a bigger football fan than I am now. And I'll say it now, my, my number one team has always been the Philadelphia Eagles. Those has always been my favorite team all the way back to the Donovan McNabb era. But I know I could have I could have forced it to put me on the Eagles, but I said, screw it. I let the draft pick for me, and the draft said that um, the Buccaneers needed me a lot more. And honestly, it's worked out for the best. The Eagles is more of a passing team in my eyes anyway, so... It wouldn't work right for me being a runner to be on a passing team because I strive better on a team that will want to accommodate for my running. I'm going to give you all a little taste of it right here. Okay, it's, it'll go a little better. <laughs> oh, come on now, bro. Usually I'll blow through these guys. Pause. There we go. That's what supposed to do. Dig that shoulder in there. As you see, my, my halfback is very confident in the skills. Just knocking over people. See, look at that. Look at that. Now, I did make my halfback more of a bruiser type of guy. So, his, his, his ideal running is more of just like, he's just running through the competition. Just straight up running through the competition. Okay, that one was a little early for the trucking. That was on me. Get off me, bro. You're lucky. Oh, oh. Got the boogies on the dummy. God damn it. <laughs> of course I run into the blocker. I mean, I'm already at gold, so I'm not even that worried. I'm just trying to keep... I gotta just keep the number up. That's all it is. But I will admit the Oklahoma drills are my favorite drills. And to me, they honestly feel like the easiest drill to do. Oh, yep. Good. Good. There we go. We bully in the practice. Now let's hope the game goes well. Yeah, right. And I cannot wait, though, for tonight for AEW's pay-per-view, man. A lot of good matches are lined up on the card. Another match I'm definitely looking forward to other than the main event, of course. I'm definitely looking forward to Will Ospreay versus um, Daniel Bryan. That match is going to be a classic. I'm really amazed how those two never had a way of facing each other before. But we're finally going to see that tonight, and that's going to be really nice. I right, get up the agility a little bit. All right, what we gonna do? We do agility. Now, the one thing I'll admit that I hate about my team, I have a very love-hate relationship with my quarterback. We, um, since I joined the Buccaneers, we've pretty much downsized our starting quarterback to a fresh quarterback that came from college. He's been all right, but he, when it comes to very big pressure moments, he bombs and it pisses me off so much. 
But as y'all see so far as we're in this current season, we're three and one. So just because my guy is at an 89 doesn't mean my team's unstoppable. It, and, and we're only gonna play as good as we can. Now I know in now I know in WB I've always bragged about like, hey, peep it, I'm playing on legend. I'm I'm not doing that in Madden. I'll be hundred percent with you. I'm playing on normal mode on Madden, which is I believe pro. Because I, I enjoy Madden, but I know for a fact if I play on like the hardest difficulty or even all pro, I'm not winning any games. I'm not. <laughs> So this one is more just for the love of the game. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three yeah, touchdown look, look at my stats. Look at my build up. And the Hawks just ahead on EA Sports. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and get into it, baby. The Buccaneers okay, are nice. on the field now, down three nothing here early. And the one to watch is this man, their third year running back. As you see the season numbers over 700 now for the year. Yeah, he's working his way toward that thousand yard mark. He's been All right, let's start it off simple. Let's start right off something up. simple. And I expect him to have a big uh, game we'll here. We'll go corner. Now I'm gonna try to play like I normally play. So if I see him out of it, my fault. Here's a hand oh. off to start the drive. Okay, it's a good start. Good start. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second there down. There you go. Me over there. I think that Pretty works much better. Unreal. Not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throw in the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make All you a right. pretty good guarantee right now. He's going <laughs> to see a few more people in the box. Every yeah, time buddy. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that the defense has any choice. Good. Got Get that first in here, bro. Performance like that. Agreed. It's a gain of 11. All right, let's throw him off the play a little down. bit. Let's, let's get a little pass in that one. Last week, he told us this week, a little ambitious, said he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before? That didn't good catch. Very, very risky, but good catch. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Now second and five. Ooh, come on. Starts. Get off of me, boy. Get off of me. Midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Happy, I'm not going to show the animation. This is the first time playing Madden that they didn't show the animation of me celebrating. That's very weird. Like, very weird. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about with one of the GMs in the league. It's told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Ooh, Ooh I wish my blocker kept him. If my blocker held him back, and I would have been a run for the money right there, bro. After one on but it's all right. It's all right. We're still second in the lead. We're still good up. Um, let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit. Go for a little passing. All right, come on, Mayfield. Don't, don't embarrass me on stream. I know we Look usually play off stream. I mean McCullough, my fault. I keep saying Mayfield here and there sometimes because that's who I originally had, but his name is McCollin. McCollin be pissing me the fuck make off. Oh, we doing this. Okay. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Try to story of my team, it didn't work, bro. Because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Okay, good, good. We, we took down the That's good. Staff, though, gonna take a peek, and we'll take a break. Again on the ground, again with Starks. Let's go. See, I told you my halfback is a week. My halfback knows what he's doing, bro. Rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. They've got a new set of downs here. And that's the big fella's right. MO right there. Running as you see, I like to try to think as a coach sometimes. So I do want to switch between running and passing plays a lot. Just to keep faking out on the opponents. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's go for the inside run. They have it done well on the inside. And my guy's turned up, so we, I need to take advantage of this. This is Starks. Alright, good run, good run. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get into a manageable third down because okay. they had the incompletion. I'm calling. I'm giving you, give you a chance. Oh, no. Oh, no. They need oh, no. to make up some ground, and they did. Now starts. No, no, no. Let me let me run it. Let me run it, coach. Good, 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 good. We're going for it, baby. I can guarantee this. Let's get it. I told you my halfback is on point, bro. My halfback is just on point. Took a fourth, took a fourth down chance and turned it into a touchdown. And I got my 10th touchdown already, so that's even better. Let's go. So I already accomplished the drive goal. The gameplay goal is that I need to get 100 yards. I'm already at 61, so that's already a good number right there. But as you see, my halfback is very good, very elite at what he does. A look at the running back, nice. the man out Thank of the backfield as Thank he gears up to go again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than right, I'm still turned up. Still turned up. I got to break four tackles in this run. No well, not just this run, right. but just in general. All right, good run. Good run. He's been working well towards 100 here. Okay, let's keep it going, baby. Let's keep it going. They'll keep it on the ground. Running on the outside. Bitch. Bitch. Right. Before they work it across midfield. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was See, like I said, bro, it wouldn't be right for me to be on the Eagles. I got to be on the team I can run with. Tackles along the way. It's all living on defense. Able to stop this guy. Unable to do it on that play. They've got nice. to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Give him nine on the carry that time. And they're I'm amazed that didn't count. I technically one. broke a tackle, even though I got caught by the second Two tackle. to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. All right, 7-3 so far. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, coach, uh, we're in the second quarter. I want, I want to see if we get the score. I'm definitely one of the people that want to get a little greedy before the half. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Completes this one to starts. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard right. line. Replay, replay, Looking replay. things up here going with some tempo. On first down, McCullough. All right, that was, that was worth a shot. It was, it was fine. So it looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out right, of that Let's go up area. the middle here. Let's do this. Let's go, brother. Draw play starts. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. Like I said, McCollum be making me feel like he just can't stand the pressure when he gets really heated into it. That's why I be having beef with my quarterback sometimes. On third down, McCollum able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. Oh, yeah. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Okay, okay, okay. McCollum, I'll let you shine, but I need you to make the right plays, bro. I need you to make the right plays. Back to throw. McCollum. This will be caught just inside the 10. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I, I really wanted to hit somebody on the slant. I, I felt like that would have made more sense. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet. Do a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Replay, replay. I got you. Let's just get, let me get this real fast. the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Let's go right at the line. Hold up. Do my dance. 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 Do my d
And yes, I do that off stream too. I, I, I love that celebration. Anytime I do that celebration, I got to do it just like that. First half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point nice, of attack. Nice work. Nice work. Watching the way he can create space down near the goal line, and he's able to take it into the end zone. See, like I said, I enjoy I, I enjoy all sports games. Anything sports related, like I'm a I'm, I'm a big fan of. But I will say it now. To, to get to continue giving us a break from my rise Tuesday when I stream on Tuesday we I will make a return of something that I've done on on my YouTube channel and bring it back to as well as bring it on stream which is zombie Tuesdays which is every Tuesday I will play a zombie game or a zombie map and you know it's normally call of duty related but i'm welcome to really all kinds of zombie stuff like i've been looking at other things like zomboy zomboy had been something in my eye and yo i can't remember what's how you pronounce the name of it sharik ritual or something like that I, I know i botched it but that's a game i looked at my boy that shit is calling and i think i'm i think i might play that on zombie tuesday so we'll see but it's mainly zombie based where there's gonna be a zombie shooter or it's going to be a zombie survival either way i just like the zombie scenarios if there was an apocalypse moment that i would want to deal with and live through as crazy as it sounds i would take my chance living through the zombie apocalypse type of form because then i could bash zombies heads open while you know surviving i just don't i admit i just would want rather the zombies from like either walking dead or the zombies from call of duty if i get zombies from let's say dying light or zombies from resident evil or the zombies from what's what's the one i really don't want yeah, i can't remember it but there's another form of zombies i don't want but if i don't have those other ones i i'm gucci all right, so getting back into the game. Getting set to go again as we nice. look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's already cruised past the hundred yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. Oh, look! I guess the defense time. scored scored on them, <laughs> scored for us. Keep nice, nice. Here. Let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific, and obviously his vision and legs have hurt Ooh. them to this big number so far. I'm so happy I broke that. I don't want to lose the X Factor now. I want to see if I keep this X Factor through the whole game. I've done it a few times, but not, but not a lot. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime. Coachman. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. If you're a classic wrestling fan, you know Coach. You remember Coach from Attitude Era days, bro. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans. And it's the Cardinals who are out in front in that one. Cam okay. Akers, over 100 yards rushing with a touchdown run. Well, we'll All right. I don't, I don't need the recap of everybody. I may be on stream, but I'm still not going to watch all the recaps. I normally skip it just like that. I don't I don't try to watch everybody's so game. Here are the Bucs to take over on offense. They fell we'll in their ball game last week. That was a loss to the Saints, but they're on top here as they begin this drive. All right. I will throw in some passing plays too. My guy is, is hot right now. I gotta get, I gotta make sure to give him a break here and there. Running. Begin the drive on the ground with Starks, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense could go. Let's hit a counter wide. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal. Shut it down nice, nice, nice. The breakaways is just the greatest, bro. They're just always the greatest. DC Hawks ain't beating us, though. It's not happening. I'm not sorry. It's just not happening. They run again with starts. Yes, as long as we don't lose yards, I want to keep this X Factor strong. As long as we don't lose yards. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Oh, yeah, y'all got to watch me. You got to put me down. Looking to throw on second down. McCullough, it's complete. This is Starks. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. 
I have confidence I can get this first down for us. I can get us this first. What we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So far this season, this is an offense. All right, let's, let's go slants. I mean, oh, a little the something to get, get the heat off me a little bit. And they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. Great catch. Great throw. In, Let's it? go. Good shit, McCollum. Good shit. The 25. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I do feel bad that my wide receivers don't get enough love here and there, but it's like, my my spot is a is a running back, so I, I got to. Starts. And the result here, a pickup of eight, leaves it with two to go on second down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing nice, what I'm seeing. Nice. Those guys are further right. getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is Let me try to get this, and I'll give him a call and a chance to get a passing touchdown on him. And dominating right now on this drive. And he'll get it here to the nice. 10 yard I just want to get that sixth attempt in. Six yards on the pick up, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Good shit, McCollum. Good shit, bro. All right, this is a good game to start off a Madden stream on, honestly. Let's go. Catch. And the Buccaneers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Look at that catch. That catch was phenomenal, bro. All right. That was a good drive. We accomplished the drive goal. Let the, let the wide receivers get some love real quick. We're doing good. This game is in the bag. I mean, this this game right here is in the bag right now. There again is the running back as he And y'all see my season, field. my season goal. My season goal, I put it to the max of touchdowns. The, the max of touchdowns that they wanted me to get is 13. I'm two so touchdowns away from already breaking that. And hey, sir, we're not even the last We're not even past the 10th game. Done a really nice job in front of him. Oh, I hate this. I hate when you're in completely in the back and they want me to run. But I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This is Starks to start the drive. Daddy's like I said, I'm gonna six do it. As they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, three to four yards. Bit. That's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. On third down, Starks. Nice. I just need that first. That's all I want. I just want to get that first real fast. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. On first and ten, McCullough. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Look at that. I'm just shaking people off me like nothing. Just shaking them off like shaking, babe. Let's get it. Let's go, brother. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> I admit, yes, I am a fan of Sketch, honestly. I don't really watch too much of this stuff, but when I, when I get a chance to, I fuck with Sketch. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Nice. Oh, no. Not my boy McBee. No. And hold on here, because on that last oh, run, I can't be like losing some of my best people. I can't. Up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. All right. And we'll be back Coach in is really just trying to have me kill time. I respect it. But I do want to switch to a pass and play at this point. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he's up across Who the flag on? Who don't? Who don't? Seattle territory. Holding offense. Of course it's a holding play. It's alright, Charles. It wasn't that big of a run, so it's alright. 
Coach, you sure you want me to do a running play in this first and 20? So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Okay. Let's take a chance here. They'll keep it on the ground. Starts. Yeah, nah. Passing play. Passing play. The farther I'm back, the more aggressive they're going to be. Pass that bitch, bro. I'm calling. I just need you to get a first. Don't worry about a touchdown. Just get me a first, bro. Off the bootleg. McCullough. That's caught by Durham. Good, good. And he's knocked to the turf right there at the 46 yard line. Replay, replay, the replay. On third down. They have been superb. All right, we're hitting the replay. Let's do this. This is third and nine. Ooh, that was a bad throw. A bad throw. Come on, let me let me know how to let me know how to. You know what? Better yet, it's actually fine. It's actually a good idea. Sorry, we can kick it back. It's fourth quarter. Even even if anything, they're not coming back. You can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the. All right, folks. So far, definitely been having a good game already. Look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to Season go again. milestone, he get has a fifth catch. To hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. Coach, I'm a runner. He I don't catch that much. Funny thing is with my stats, I purposely have not put up any of my stats when it comes to um passing. All of my stats has been focused on everything related to running. I'll give y'all, I'll, I'll give y'all a look at my stats like after this game. They'll run on first down. Starts, runs over it, evades the tackler, and now some space. And he is tackled inside. Those Oklahoma the drills be kicking, boy. 198 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. Oh, you damn right, Brett. That, and I want to try to see if I can sneak right another one. On first down. Ooh. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 31, Man, here's a That's the other thing when you play against me, bro. You play against me, I'm going to just injure you by accident, whether I'm on offense or defense. It's just going to happen. The middle they go. Starks. That's first. Just before the line Fuck out of here. That was the first down. Yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practice for this back in training camp. Oh, I wanted to try to get this beforehand. Yeah. Would be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A yard, all they need, but it's third down. Now a handoff up the middle. Starts. Ooh, give me my touchdown, boy. One more, and I'm done with the milestone goal. Do my dance. 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 Yeah. Get back in the wind column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. We see this a lot on third. See, this is already a good start here. here I, I made sure to secure my spot as undisputed champion, finishing the my rise. And now we already doing damage on the first game back on some Madden. Because I purposely, I haven't played Madden for like the, like a good week or two now. So just hopping back in and already doing damage on the first game is a great feeling. Great feeling. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a All right, get first down. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Let's see what we can do here. On first down. Ah, shake him off. Nice. First down off the first play. That's that's a great run right there. No, nope, yeah, my guy ran enough. 246 yards on 32 attempts with three touchdowns. That, that's that's good enough. I don't need more than this at this point. So we're going to we're going to we're going to kill the clock for right now. Before you go for the ball, don't just go for it initially. Like I said, I normally be greedy, but I'm not going to be greedy this time. I'm, I'm going to let, let my guys chill out. Time as they take the knee. But, uh, I, but like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday right now. I'm enjoying mine right now. 
as you see I'm starting to throw in some different stuff and I'm I'm trying to just enjoy playing the games I play and try to add that into this rather than you know I stick to one thing because I don't get tired of wrestling but let's be real you're going to get tired of something that you always play all the time if you don't even spice it up or switch it up you know what I'm saying even Jinxie for example Jinxie is mainly known for his Rainbow Six so Siege, which I have subscribed to. I fucks with Jinxie. But you see, he switches it up. He throws my, he throws Seattle Fall Guys. He, he throws in little side gameplays with other creators. So that's good. Get a breather. It's not bad. Off the charts. The way that they make noise and understand when to make noise, they understand the game as well as anyone. And how about what we get in our, our media packets when we start preparing for the game? They have it in their own stuff, right? The number of offsides, penalties. See, now that was a good game. That was definitely good to get back into the, the groove of things. Whew. All right, we accomplished the normal goal. We accomplished the milestone goal. Now all is left. I just need one more touchdown. And I accomplished the season milestone. What's funny is I'm, I have the superstar level only because I play just this mode. I don't be playing online or any of the other stuff. There's nothing wrong with online, but personally for me, I just I, I don't I don't really care too much for it. I, I like playing single player games, unless I'm playing a multiplayer with somebody I want to play with. Play some good ball out I'm there today, usually guys. a single game player. Oh, that was a that player was, of the week performance right there. Yeah, that was. That was quality. I will say this. If I could ever trade my guy to a different team, one thing for sure, the team gonna have to be in desperate need of a running back if you're gonna put me on your team. Joining any other team, honestly, would be almost a waste if, if, if I just, if it wasn't for strictly running plays. Like I said, I love my Eagles, but I know if I went on to my Eagles, I won't feel right with the fact that they're a passing team and I'm a running back. And then if I join in and I do damage with the Eagles, they're going to recess the team to where the team is going to turn from a passing team to a running team. Which is not the best dynamic all the time, honestly. Alright, let's get these drills on. But, I do say I, I, I am a fan of the Buccaneers. I'm not a big fan of the Buccaneers, but I used to, honestly. There was like a few years to where I was a fan of the Buccaneers a lot. I think that was more like when Warren Sapp was a was a part of the team. I don't know. I'm I'm always able to remember certain key players that I that that made me always want to like watch the games. But I feel like the Buccaneers do have a chance of doing something nowadays. Even though they, even though the last championship was with Tom Brady, I am confident the Buccaneers can win a, a Super Bowl championship without Tom Brady. It just, it was kind of crazy just to, just to know that we could, that that Tom Brady. I think he had left before or just got traded, but either way, left the left the Patriots, came to the Buccaneers, and pretty much won a championship with them to try to say like, hey. No matter what team I'm on, I'ma score. I'm I'm a I'ma get a championship for that team. So you know, kudos to him. But I admit I was always a Tom Brady hater. I was always a Patriots hater, because even though I am from the New England area, I s I just hated seeing them win all the time. It's 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 like the John Cena effect. You hate to see you hate to see the person win all the time. But that person is is somehow one of the biggest draws in the business that you just can't help but just be like, I hate you, but I have to respect how fucking good you are. It's the same way as like LeBron in, in, in the NBA. 
you hate LeBron for the way he plays, the way he acts, the way he tries to be a coach and a player. But at the same time, you have to respect the fact that the man is literally one of the best on the court. I'm not going to get into the argument of who's the true GOAT, especially between him and Jordan. I'm stepping away from that argument. I'm not touching that argument, bro. All I'm going to say is every player deserves to be known if they're the best at something. And LeBron is one of the best of the generation of basketball that came up. I'll, I'll just say it. And, and oddly enough, is like, well, not oddly, but a lot of times, even LeBron could prove that, like, to be the best, you don't always start off as the best or with the best team. Because he started off originally with a team that, like, didn't really make it far. But then the second he started to get better and went to a different teams that could find his gel, the man started to, started to pop off. All right, so what am I doing this time? Oh, fuck it. Let's throw the catching up. I don't, I don't really do much catching. Oh, that reminds me. I thought I clicked this one. I said I was going to show you guys my stats to my guy. So, so you can see what I've been working on the whole time. As you see, my main focus has been the ball carrier vision at 99 trucking at 99 breaking tackle at 99 those was my key focus to, to my bruiser as you see and not one time has i bought any points or anything because me personally when i play a video game i stick to my to the original style of video games to where you're supposed to play and earn it from building up time after time after time playing the games so currently right now, as you see, the next bit of stats I'm working on is like everything else running wise as route, short route is at 87, stiff arms at 87. So I'm trying to get one of those up very soon, as well as the fact that I'm getting close to unlocking the last gold slot because I got shake it off truck, truck elite 2020 and the running back route. Those are all good stats with the freight train on top that just, I knock motherfuckers out. I, I knock these guys out they path, bro. And and I truly love it. So as you see, I, I, I definitely made sure to stay focused onto my guy and do what I gotta do necessary. So as you see the next step, got some skill points. This is the main goal I'm trying to get right now. I wanna unlock this last slot. Then from there, of course, just permanent boosts here and there. And then of course, trying to make it all the way up to level 60. Now, I don't really care too much about the outfits, honestly. I more just care about making sure my guys just stay looking like one of the, one of the best in the game. But you know, if I earn them, I earn them. If I don't, it's whatever. But at least I see there is a, a cap to the skill points. <laughs> and it looks like the cap for skill points is going to be at level 50. So once my guy hits level 50, I can't get any more stat points. So I have been keeping mindful about what I use for what, where to put for what. So I've done, I've, I've, I know I've done a good job with that. And I'm very happy with that. But all right. Showed off the stats. Let's go ahead and keep it pushing. Keep my guy getting better. Now, I do have a lot of cred points, as you see on the top corner. I don't know what else to use them for. My main focus was just using them for, like, any celebrations and stuff that I get. Now, at this point, I, I, I don't know what else I'm going to use them for. I, I just don't. <laughs> I got everything I need for right now. I'm doing everything I need for right now. So, it's like, I don't, I don't know what I need it for. Oh yeah, let's get the agility up for two games. Alright, what else we fixing up? Hmm. Yeah, get the massage therapy. I need to get that stamina up. The one thing I am happy about is that so far as I've been playing superstar mode. I don't know if you're not like like not allowed to get injured. I know I kept injuries on. But my guy luckily has not gotten injured once. 
And I'm kind of amazed about that. I hope I'm not jinxing it as I say it, but I'm very amazed my guy has not been injured once yet. Oh yeah, get some extra stamina with that. Yeah, let's hit this Oklahoma drills. Like I said, I like the Oklahoma drills. To me, they're easy and they're fun to do. And really, I'm more just focused on getting the max amount of XP I can get. I'm not worried about the stat boosters. Come on, I don't need the blockers to get through you. I don't need the blockers to get through you, bro. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, damn it. I was going to run the sideline. It's all right. It's all right. Throw that elbow. Throw that shoulder in, bro. Throw that shoulder in. There we go. Get that shoulder in place. Yeah. Shake him off. Shake, shake, shake him off. Y'all not ready for me, boy. Y'all not ready for me, boy. We in here. I will say I am thinking of getting the next Madden, though. Because, like, I have been wanting to get back on Madden games. Because uh, purposely, before I got on 24, I haven't played a Madden game in, like, years. The, the last Madden I ever bought, I'm trying to remember, I think it was Madden 15. So, yeah, I haven't touched a Madden in, like, so long. I want to say I gotten this Madden probably, like, about, what is it, April right now? I got this around my birthday in January, so I want to say definitely around January in three years. January or beginning of February, so yeah. Like, I haven't, this game, I only had it for about like two to three months already. And I've done a lot of damage with, with the Superstar mode. But I have been meaning to want to get back into the game all around. I've been wanting to get to the franchise and everything. But I'm taking I'm taking one step at a time because at the end of the day I'm I'm a guy that likes to enjoy his gaming. I'm not trying to play it to be the be the greatest of all time. I just I just want to enjoy gaming. When you grow up as a gamer, you, you get to that point to where after a while, you just want to play for the love of the game. But to those that do play to be the best of all time, break records, join the gaming squads. I have no no hatred towards you, no shame about it. Do you do your thing? If your goal of being the best of who you are is definitely through gaming, do it. Do it up. Have fun with it. Shit. And if you somebody who likes to just play video games just just to play the video games because you you enjoy the you enjoy the feel of playing the games, like I said, do it up. Have fun. Cause that's what matters. All right, so enough enough of the, the spiritual talk. We had a week off after running through fucking um the Seahawks. Now we going up against the Panthers. Let's let's see what we could do here. It's week seven of the National Football League, and there's no love lost. I need one touchdown this game, one touchdown so I can break the milestone. The NFC champs and the Panthers, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24 yeah boy just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte today we've got a matchup here in pivotal week seven as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Carolina Panthers Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this. That's my guy right there. As they interplay here, and losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And now I do know what y'all thinking. Why didn't I make my guy bald? 
I'll be honest. For some weird reason in this first in this version of Madden, I'm not allowed to make my guy bald. I'm really not allowed to. So it's like I could put my real stats, which six six foot. I put the target weight I, I would want to be at, which is 240. I'm I've been going to the gym three to four times a week, so I'm really trying to hit that goal. But yeah, fucking. Oof. I I really do wish I could make my guy ball, but the game won't let me. It won't let me make my guy ball. Uh, it's not an end all be all, but it's just it's something I've gotten used to. If I could grow my hair back, trust me, I would. I I, I would go ahead. But life don't work like that for me. But it's okay. It's okay. Wait, two turnovers already? We just started. It's only first quarter. How's there two turnovers? A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this okay. forward for about six yards. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. Ooh, they really I admit, I should have tapped that a little faster. Sometimes I purposely don't press the press X just to see my guy can make it through. Not the best idea. Trust me, it's not. But I purposely wanted to. All right, y'all. Come on. Let's get first. Let's get first here. Fuck it, let's throw him the pass here. I want to throw him off here. I don't want to get too comfortable to the runs. Throwing on first down. McCullough. Nowhere to turn this time and he goes. That was my fault. That was totally my fault. I the guy that, that came up was somebody I could have watched over and I, I, I fucked up. That's on me. That was on me. I can take the blame when I fuck up. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this, McCall. I got you now. That time was not my fault. <laughs> okay, so I know what we're going to do here. Get me on the pass protection. Okay, okay. I got you this time. Maybe some screens, maybe some perfect. Get that first. Perfect. Anything to try and slow that pressure down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. All right, now a first and goal. Let me go ahead and run that in for us. If I can't get the run in two attempts, we'll go ahead and just pass it in. Hands it off out of the Whoop. gun. Got to slip through for that. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Good job. Good job. There. Good game, With good goal. Thirteenth rushing touchdown on the year, and the box used the early turnover to get on the board first. Here now the one. touchdown, the touchdown milestone is accomplished. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing nice. game and the aerial I'm definitely leveling up after this game. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it? Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up Ooh. shop here for their second drive. I don't catch too much, so we'll, we'll, we'll shoot for something field, light. Two weeks ago, they had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should. Wait, I just realized, why are we doing a goal line play all the way back here? When you get that open I'm still in the suggestion, so this ain't me picking this. It does wonders this. for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you okay. get away from Okay, enough, the goal play, the goal line play worked from this distance. Just wouldn't recommend this, but mm, fuck it. Whatever works. On second down. Get off me. And he'll be brought down nice. Get this like first down, boy. Four yards the pick up, first down. All right, let's throw it real quick. Let's get some, let's get get some yards in here. Come on, McCollum. I know you've been having a rough game so far. Let's make up for it. Nice, good. Wait, please, no, I don't us. You have to take that time and run with it, and that's what they're trying to get done here. Oh, I ran into somebody and blocked them by accident. Uh, that was complete accident. 
Sometimes when my guy does the blocks, I don't control him when he blocks, and he just runs to the first person, just mushes the fuck out of him. I try to avoid that so hard, but it's like my if my guy gets next to anybody on the opposite team and he's a blocker, he's instantly just going to block with him. Like he's instantly just going to push the shit out of him. I don't know why, but he just does it. Ooh, I saw a better hole. I saw a better hole, but I was just like, fuck it. I'm already, I'm already moving. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. Okay, let's hit the gun. In fact, I would say that this defense has done a good job on him. So I'm gonna keep giving you a block back here. This is the other reason why why I don't I don't really let my this other reason I don't really let my guy be a be like a receiver. It's because my quarterback, for some reason, seems to be afraid to just throw it sometimes. So the last thing I want to do is run out, and then he just gets gets tackled. Good shit, McCullough. Good shit. All right, I'm going to run it for a little bit now, so I'm going to take the heat off you. Okay, let's go inside split. A nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. They'll run on first down. Starts. They'll manage to break all right, the other guy slowed me, slowed me down, but it's okay. It's all right. We still got this. Let's go for a second one. Okay, got this. But I think we should. I think I need to stop shooting for the inside. Oh, second I said that. Never mind. It's the inside works. Alright, let's hit a play well. action. Let's get this. A lot. a lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three shit and call them. Let's, let's keep them on their toes. Let's keep them on their toes. Second down and four. Now, I like I formation a lot when it comes to running plays, but I admit, for some reason, my Buccaneers seem to have a hard time handling doing I formation plays, as you see. For some reason, it's like they always have a hard time with I formation. So I never understand why. Come on, McCollum, don't make me regret doing this on third down. Nice. That was a risk. That was a risky short short throw, but I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. The goal is score a touchdown, but kill the clock at the same time. So far, we were doing that, and it's working. Find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed. Picking up the first. Here's second and five now from the 37. A delayed give on the draw to Starks. And he's going to get nice. this inside Good run. the 30. And quickly they get to the line. I know I want to kill, kill the clock, but let's, let's keep this pushing. Let's keep the momentum going. On first down. Good shit, y'all. Good shit. There we go. That's why I need it too. I need that X factor turned on. All right, let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. Operating from the gun, McCullough. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Okay, let's get a little greedy. You already know me. Let's get a little greedy. As he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. No, no. Oh. And for a second straight there goes my X Factor. Hey, I, I honestly respect Carolina. Like, honestly, Carolina is a good team. When they have a good structure behind them, the Carolina, Pan the Carolina Panthers can actually be a really good team. But, like I said, they got to have a good structure behind them. If they don't have a good structure, they're not that good of a team. All right, good job, good. His second touchdown on the season, and the Buccaneers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. 
A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit. Now, the good thing I'll definitely say with this Buccaneer squad, ever since I joined on, the team has been more focused on definitely keeping the team younger to keep this stride going. And it took some time, but it's working out. It's working out. out come the Buccaneers. Nice. I love my defense. We the held them off. Quarter. That's good. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message okay. was at Eight attempts. This is going to be risky. I think I think at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and Good. Help them out. First down on the first the run. Good. A few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. All right, that was my fault. I didn't mean for him to sit still, but one little change in the route basically will make him do that. Okay, let's make, let's make another run. Let's make another run. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going okay. to carry the ball, I need, I need a pass here. I need a pass in play. We just need a first down. We don't need the greatest amount. We just need a first down in this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time. Come on, McCollum. Just give us the first. Good shit. Good throw. Great catch, Cooper. Great catch. All right, that gives me some fresh yards to run with. So let's let's go ahead and make these runs. Up the middle they go. Starts and this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. He has been terrific here this afternoon. Second down now. Ah, nice. Yeah, nice first down. Now, I'll be honest, if I get a touchdown in the middle of these runs, I'm never really bothered by it. Even if it is, I have a goal to where I have to get eight rushes. I've had plenty of times where I got seven rushes, but it ended out with a touchdown. And I, and I would take that over anything. Certainly a nice job there by the All defense right. rallying to Come the on, let's get a first down with this one. Let's get a first down with this one. Right, switch it. Good, 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 good. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. Thank you, Lyman. Thank you for pushing me in at least. I would definitely respect it. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking All right, Z spot, Z spot. Let's get a first. Let's get a first, y'all. That's main purpose. Sticks. If you can't get touchdown, just get a first. From the gun on third down. Yes. I'm not going to lie. I almost fucked up that get that run play. I almost fucked it up. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this last run attempt here. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Okay, good, good. As long as it's positive, that's all that matters. As long as it's not a loss for yards, I will always take it. Off the bootleg. McCullough. Blitz coming and down he goes. Oh, McCullough, you gotta be quick, bro. I'm telling you, that's the one thing I get mad about. I feel like McCullough freezes up way too much, bro. Way too much. Operating from the gun. McCullough. Nice. He's got it. In the end zone. I love Brown. Brown is definitely somebody who I can always count on. Brown and Cooper are my favorite out, out in the, the field whenever I need them. That was a beautiful, beautiful throw, beautiful catch, straight down the middle, perfect opening. It, it was all just the perfect recipe for a touchdown.
and I got my eight eight attempts of rushing, so I'm cool. I got what I wanted. They got what they wanted. We got what we all wanted. And right now we're we're crushing the Panthers. Oh damn! I didn't realize. Okay, so game day goal is the last thing I gotta do. I gotta get 50 yards without like with contact. So that means I gotta break off the tackle and keep pushing for a little bit more. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He's gonna be dropped following a pickup of seven past the All right, 30 to nice. the 32. See, that's what worries me. My guy be looking like he's injured, but he's but they never call an injury. And I and like I said, I did not turn off injuries. Like if my guy was to get injured, he gets injured. But I don't know. It's the Bucks. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard. Oh, I didn't even notice. So I guess they scored a touchdown like before that last before the this drive. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And hold on here because on that last run it looks like we have a player who was shaken up i swear a lot of my runs somebody on the opposite team aside. always gets injured and it's just like i don't know what it is they'll run on first down starks and they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Yeah, i think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there yeah i think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason and all he talked about was building a bully and i think it was this situation he was envisioning trying to ice a game Ooh. plenty of time all right we got the first down i respect the dope if my lineman was able to keep him more covered oh we would have been gone they'll get three as the drive continues it's a first down They'll keep it on the ground. Starks. I will say the Panthers are doing really good at wrapping me up and not letting me like break break the tackles off. That's really all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to break one of these tackles off. It's just it's not happening. Go. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. 151 yards rushing for him here as he starts to close in now on 1,200 yards for the season. All right, season. let's pass it up. I've, I've, I've been doing a lot of so running. Far. It's first and 10. Off the play fake. McCullough. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I hate when he tries to throw to me and I'm doing the hook turn because McCollin seems to never hit when someone does a simple turnaround hook. It's very rare McCollin will hit if someone just does a simple turnaround hook. On second down, Starks. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19 yard line. It's a perfect. The X Factor is on. Let's see if I can get this contact. I feel like this might be my only chance of really getting it. They'll try the left side. Starts. And they work this near the five. Right, cool, He'll be cool, stopped cool, at cool, the cool, six. Cool. Another nice game. 13 yards that time and another first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will fight his way yeah, I already know. the end zone for a touchdown. Huh. Do my dance. A great play huh. there. Do my dance. With his 14th huh. touchdown Do my dance. Here, second yeah. of the game. And the Bucks are looking to run it to 5-1 and one on the season as they add to their Great run, early. and I broke off a lot more with contact. I should be just about there. I don't know. They, they, they don't tell me until I see the screen afterwards. And either way, I don't know if I'm going to get much of a chance after this drive. Because there's only two minutes and 48 seconds left. I'm pretty sure Panthers are going to end up using it up. But we'll see. We'll see. But nonetheless, great plays, great runs right here. Did I get it? Yes. Nice. I got it. So I accomplished all the missions. I don't try to make the missions the main importance. My main importance when I play these games, I want my team to win. But getting the missions are key and they do help with the team winning so all in all i'm definitely feeling good with it and the buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field all right let's chew the clock up let's chew the clock up uh hit it with a stretch 
and the X Factors on. Let's go. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. On a determined run there as he's gonna take this all the way down to damn right determined. Now I want that. to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go. Okay, in the let me game. see if I can get over to the right side. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Good job, the good job, good job. The second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the right, football game. On. Let's get this run up here real fast. On second down now, Starks. Shake him off, shake it off. Have a Bucks first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. And they'll indeed take a knee. Don't get me wrong. I could get greedy and go for another touchdown. But the main goal is to kill the clock. So I'd rather focus on killing the clock at this point. But as you see, I, I, I enjoy sports games a lot. It's like I like the energy, I, I, I like the vibe, I like the, the hustle that comes from it all. And football has always been something I've enjoyed. Growing up, playing Madden was always one of the main sports games I always played all the time. Especially like when me and my brother was cool, we were always like just play Madden all the time. He'll beat me, I'll beat him. I don't, I don't remember what record we left off on, to be honest. So I, I don't want to really say I was better than him, but... I can say we, we definitely challenged ourselves a lot so when we played heavy against each other. We don't do it much anymore now, but I mean, it happens. Yeah, you get older, you don't, don't really stick to all the same things. The numbers weren't spectacular. He had two touchdown passes. But another That's great it. play. Another great play, as you see. But he some important drives when they needed it most, and they're going to come away with the victory. So for the Bucks, their nice. strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1, and one, and they will head back home next week meanwhile for the panthers Ooh, mccollin got a 90 completion that's loss. good yeah they'll try to 133 turn yards two touchdowns in new orleans look good good like i said i do my best to make sure everybody else still look good stat wise nice there's a contact leveled up baby yeah now I gotta figure out what I wanna level up first. As you see, the the the, the route elite is something I should I am trying to work on a little bit more. Okay. Go ahead, supply these skill points. Get these skills up, bruh. As you see, like I said, I have been touched catching once i don't want my running back to focus on catching to be the biggest thing i want my quarterback to, to focus on everything else working oh okay i didn't break enough stiff arms for that right now short receptions I, this still gonna need some work I admit, I should add a little bit of like catching. No, yeah, fuck it. I'll give my guy some catching to him. It's not my biggest focus, but I'll, I'll add a little bit to him. Good, we do, we doing good now, bro. Another game, another win. Five and one. We going we gonna get there, bro. Oh, my bro. mama was watching tonight. I hope your mom's proud, bro. I try to do my best so that all of us on the team looks good. Oh yeah, I'm close. I'm getting close to that 99, boy. 
I still say you don't need a 99 overall to be the best player. But in certain games like Madden, it actually does count. I'll give it that. Madden sees what, you, what you've been doing on the field, Cap. No doubt. You're taking it up a level. Because of that, we had to boost your overall to 90. Couldn't keep, couldn't keep you in the 80s no more. But hey, keep grinding. I like it because in the beginning of this, you you're the, you talk to Chad Johnson, let him know in the beginning, your goal out of all this is just to be a 99. So I like the fact that I'm already grind up to a 90. So that 99 is coming, boy. All right, I can only go for three points. So let's go ahead and meet up. Let's hit that Oklahoma drill. A nice Oklahoma drill from, from my runner. Ooh, new Botchamania is up. Here we go, here we go. Oh, but speaking of YouTube, I'm about to say before before I started um the stream today, I was watching the new Mr. Beast video where he had the one one to a hundred uh taking on each other for, for like I think twenty no two fifty thousand dollars. I ain't gonna lie, that 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 shit was a tearjerker at times, cause it's like, it really it really made you like see how humanity really tested itself. It wasn't crazy barbaric, but it was a lot of like people joining groups, people trying to take take out who they believe was the easiest people. The funniest part in the beginning was more of like how some people took themselves out within like the first couple of hours. And of course, you already know the like the one to three the roads took themselves out. A couple of people in the '90s took themselves out, and then down the line, it got crazier to where like everybody who was in the age of 40 was literally in the biggest pack, and it and it really was crazy to show that the 40 year olds was the most like loyal to each other over anybody of of the ages. And then there was one point to where like um. They had like five they had they had everybody lined up in like five groups in a way each group had had to pick um a leader and the goal that they had was that they was going to tempt the leaders with a certain amount of money in order for them to 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 um eliminate the rest of the group so it was like if one leader took the money that whole row was gone but the leader took the money I respect that they lasted for a good while, but the second that mount got to a hundred thousand dollars, you want to know the age that that ended up taking it? The thirty-year-old, <laughs> the thirty-year-old stage took it. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not mad about it because I because when I watched it, I said to myself, you know, that's the most believable right there. Because when you're around thirty, that's really that's really like the age where people at most are always like trying to be so focused to get their life in order to get their adult life in order they'll usually have their kids like around there the most so it was so it was very believable that when it as it happened but man everybody else was pissed <laughs> they was pissed <laughs> but hey what can you do though man i mean, I mean it's bound to happen I respected a few of the teenagers. A few of the teenagers stuck in there for a while. I, I think the last teenager that stuck in in the game was like 14. Yeah, the last teenager was like 14 year old, 14 years old. He stuck in there hard, but it got to one of the elimination rounds to where they had to eliminate people and had pretty much somebody eliminate somebody else throughout the whole thing. And unfortunately, the 14 year old got eliminated by the 40 group because the 40 group somehow got lucky and kept it kept control of it to where if you wasn't in the 40 pack they was kicking you the fuck out <laughs> yo it was so fucked up bro but mr beast weirdly does really good videos that really show you the like humanity's mind and the best part is like I don't feel like it's scripted. I know a lot of people have been saying Mr. Beast been scripting his stuff. Sometimes I feel like it's not scripted. I feel like it's really showing you the real details of like human life. Coming off an incredible effort with over 200 yards rushing a week ago. Oh yeah, that's a good number. Good numbers. On Sunday night. 
Yeah, let's go ahead, hop in here, taking on these Vikings. As you see, I'm just running through this, but that's really how I play Madden. I just run through it, go from one game to another, and just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. The Buccaneers offense set to get going. All right. Winners of two now I'm on my chance to get my 90th rush touchdown. Watching is this man at running back as he continues to pile on the yards. All right. There. So far, the Vikings are already up, so they already got a little momentum here. So it's time to show them what we can do. They'll start this drive out. Ooh. I hate how the lineman broke through like that. I respect it, but damn, that lineman was, was for real. Sorry. Looking to throw on second down. McCullough. Good, good play, good play. Alright, I'm not staying with negative yards, bro. Hell no. I don't care how tough this, this this team is when it comes to runners. I'm I'm running through the ass whether you like it or not. Okay, I'm gonna still work on it, but I'm running through the ass whether you like it or not. Okay, let's hit a toss play. Toss play to start. Nice, nice. Ooh, I was hoping to run through him, but it's okay. Okay, we only a couple of inches. I can guarantee this first. This, this, this ain't a bad thing. Ooh. But I will admit, the Vikings has a good, good running defense. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, lucky. If I, if I got through this one guy, it would have been a wrap. I will admit, I do like trucking a lot, but I really should convince my guy more to do jukes and spins. Even if they're not that high, I really should should like add them in more. I give him a thing. I should have ran to the outside. I should have ran to the outside. And as you see too, well, I can admit when I know I make a bad run play. Don't throw it to me. Don't throw it to me. Why did you throw it to me? <laughs> like I said, I hate when McCollum does this. For some weird reason, he keeps throwing it to me at the worst possible times. He don't always throw it to me at the right times. Give defense credit. Covered was in lockdown mode everywhere. Wait, what? What the fuck? That's a glitch right there. That's a glitch. My boy just froze. <laughs> Damn it, though. Come on, McCollum. This is where I say sometimes I hate McCollum because it's like, you've seen that. That was a big pressure moment. All he had to do was get a first down. I don't know what I don't know what be going through his head, but he Tampa just don't Bay, be pulling. Getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Shit. Charles, All right. All right. These two teams, and these are those I got to pick the right plays. We got to do this. The second half of the season that if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look forward to them or really dread them, depending on your point of view. And if you're dreading them, you're not going to go very far in the playoffs. You need to look right, forward nice. to these kind of games. Good one. Here we Good go. one. Two division leaders, both real contenders for the NFC title. And you're right. I don't you really care about the drive goals. I just want to get us back on the board. Like We're already 14-0. That's a bad start after making a big shot. lead so far in the, in the year. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the four. Nice, perfect. X Factor is turned on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Those last two plays. From Viking territory now. They'll come up first and ten at the 45-yard line. No, oh, come on, bruh. Now here's a throw, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Come on, let's at least score before the half. Before the half. That's all I want. Good shit, McCollum. Those are the rare moments where McCollum makes a great ass pass. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Buccaneers have got it back to within a score. Good shit. Good shit. 
Okay, it definitely looks like the team's going to have to rely on more passing plays. So unfortunately, this might not be the game for me to get really much touchdowns, but that's fine. That's fine. I know it's a goal, but I can live without it. That's fine. As long as the team there finds a way to win. The running back as he trots onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here. Ooh, okay, okay. We got to score. We got to score. Oh, perfect. We are close. Let's get it. PlayStation. I don't know why this shit was up. That shit fucked me all the way up for a second. To come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Let's go. Tied that shit up before the half. We back in this game. We are in a good ass streak. We're not losing this streak now. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from drawing level. Week after like I said, I will give up my goals of being of doing certain running back things just to make sure the team wins. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back oh. out onto the field. Word? Okay, fuck it. Let's get greedy. We might not make it. That's fine. But let's let's try to get greedy since we're already here. Throwing to start the drive. McCullough firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Alright. Now you see my guy got better with the catching. That's why I put that shit up. Now a handoff up the middle. Starts. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. Again, sorry, sorry. Third and one. Alright, good, good, good. We got a couple of yards up. We got a couple of yards up. Okay, so let's go play. Let's, let's go play. I need something that, that pushes up, but not too far up. Definitely throw in the pack. Definitely need the, the, the pass protection. Come on, McCollum. Okay, good. Good run on the outside. Keep, keep the clock frozen as much as possible. Alright. Do this. Back to throw. McCullough. Good shit. Good shit. That's McGee. The Bucks gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds. Alright, let's go. Why sell? Why sell? Why sell? Why sell? <laughs> Throwing on first down. Good block. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. Like I said, we getting greedy before this half, boy. We getting greedy before this half. Ooh, I don't like I don't like verticals. I honestly do. I never like the vertical plays because it's just like Hell Mary. It's a very slim chance of ever getting them because everybody is running the fuck out. So it's just it's all by chance for this shit. McCallin, if you was gonna run, you could at least run up the goddamn middle. Why did you run to the side? Motherfucker, you could have ran up the middle. Good pressure and it's second down. I'm so mad about that. I'm really mad about that. That's what I be talking about. He don't be making the right ideas in these plays. You had all that opening in the middle. You could have just ran up the middle, got us more yards than what you got us running to the side. I mean, what can you do, man? It's, 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 it's been calling for you. Alexa, set volume to 5%. I don't know why they're... The shit just kept going off, so I gotta just turn it off for right now. Okay, so it's all right. We got a fresh half. We're tied up. So now the goal is just to just to score and hold the lead. Score and hold the lead. Yeah, shake them off. 
getting the ball first, you got to think. And Ooh, we go out okay, and on okay, we got this. We got this. Smart running. Just smart running. Is, can I make a play to really help out my yeah, team? there we go. That's a smart-ass run. That's a smart-ass run. territory now they'll come up first and 10 at the 47 they'll keep it on the ground yeah Starks shake him off Damn. that's why i didn't bother pressing x all right my x factor is on my team is turned up we running this we going with this Nice. As long as we don't lose yards, I don't want that X factor to cool off. Stay positive. Stay positive. Second down and eight. I got you. I got you. Get this pass off, McCall, and I got you. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Good shit, McCall. The Okay. Okay. Um, pin up sweep. Third down and one. Come on, y'all. Just give me this right first. Side. Just give me this first. Good. That's all I need. I just that's all I need. All right, we're going to go run, pass, run. They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Oh, come on, bro. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. McCall, do not pass it to me. I swear to God, do not pass it to me. It's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. This fucking motherfucker. I said don't pass it to me. The defenders certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy Like I said, every time McCall does this, he does the same shit over and over again. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. All right, good. We got the pass off that made it up. Now we in the lead. Now we in the lead. Now we just got to keep it. And the Bucks have taken the lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. All right, good, good, good. We're in a nice lead now. We're doing good. So here are nice. Good cool, cool. Now we just got to hold it. Just got to hold it. And they lead this all we as need well to do. As they come up on first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Off play action. McCullough. Rush coming in. Damn. It's taken down. Admittedly, that blitz was coming in. I, I saw that blitz coming. The blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. The Bucks on third down. Okay, okay, They've okay. Switch into a pass block. Come on, McCollum. Just get first. Just get us a first. Don't worry about nothing else. Just get us a first down, my boy. Stop, ru stop running. Fucking oh, yeah, asshole. Why'd you run? So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot. I can't stand this motherfucker every time he does that. Why did you run? So now the Bucks down 24. Now we got now we have to score. We have to score. Throwing to start the drive. McCullough. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Here up to the 34. I hate the two-minute warning sometimes. I swear to God, I hate this shit. 
Sometimes the two minute warning so literally pops up at the worst possible time right now. I need that momentum they come up right on now. Second down now in a game that looks like it's gonna go down to the wire. Here's second and a yard. Operating from the gun. McCullough, St. Brown on the catch. Right, now the catch. Is gonna use the first of their timeouts. I'm putting I'm putting the work in call. We'll be back I'm putting work. They'll look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He'll look to throw. Over the middle of the Great play. Alright, now now we gotta now we gotta push. We gotta push. We got no more timeouts. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about. Dream right, McCall, I know we've been beefing a lot. Career, I pay for you right now, bro. I need you to do this for us. Why? Stop, stop going. Stop going to the short throws. I'm happy it's on the outside. But stop going to the short throws, bro. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. Okay. And I say I don't trust my running, but I don't want to try to focus on running at this point. Would you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. You've got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. And he'll take this one down to the 36. If you've been waiting all day for this, this Sunday nighter's been worth the wait. It's third down here. Switch it up. Guess this first. Just guess the first. That is caught. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 21. Back to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. Ooh, now I hope you are right, Tank. Here's we've got an injured bucket. The only here. good part we we got the first come out here and take a look and we will take a short break. All right, so we are in good field goal range. So now the goal is try to get a touchdown. And, to and if we can't get it definitely Oh, you got this. You got this go go. Let's go. The, the streak is still alive. Let's go. See, those are the moments where McCollin shines, and he, and that's why I say I have a love-hate relationship with my quarterback. Sometimes I fuck with him because he doesn't. Sometimes I fuck with him because he gets those rare moments that really hit. And sometimes I don't fuck with him because he doesn't want to take the chance when he knows he could do it. There's no way. There's see. There's no way our defense is strong enough to hold him back long. That was a close game. So as you see, even though my quarterback is really good, I mean my running back is really good. There is moments to where games would be really tough, very close, and that was an example. Maybe with a different play call. But yeah, McCollum's player of the game for this one, bro, on the real. 78 percentage, 219 yards, and four touchdowns. That's quality game. That's quality play right there. That's quality play. All right, so... I don't know when the pay-per-view is going to start. I'm pretty sure around 7 or 8. But I'm not going to make this stream too long. So if anything... I'll play one more game here on stream for you guys, and then after that we'll we'll, we'll call we'll call it a stream. But I'm definitely enjoying this. It's all right. I didn't hit I didn't hit my my game game day goal, but we still did good. Hey, we even somewhere tonight? Let's do it. Rook is pain. But man, that was a close ass game. That was a fucking close ass game. I, I had to get serious during the last moments.
But I like the fact that my guy already got like 14 touchdowns and it's not even the 10th, 10th week yet. We're only on week nine. Go nice little truck. Here we go. Here we go. Go. Ready, Ready. Here we go. go. Ha -ha. Ready. Ready. When you come against me, you better aim low, or that's just going to keep happening to you. Ooh, you lucky I stepped out of bounds. Okay, ready. Ready, ready. I'm telling you, my guy's a beast. He just runs through people when need to. And as you see on the field, as long as my team's working with me, every run I make is going to be a, a highlight reel. Oh, yep, get off me. Come on, come on. Hey. There we go. Shake him off. On the set. Ha, ha. Okay, okay. Good attempt, good attempt. There we go. Break him off. This is why I say, like, a lot of times, if you play the drills as Superstar, just spam the drill that you're best at. Sure, you sure if you're worried about bonuses, go for the one that gives you a bonus on the stat that you're looking for. But if you're if you know you have one that you could guarantee getting gold every time to get the highest amount, focus on that. Makes it easier, quicker, and better for your player to to prove over time. Okay, let's run through that real fast. Bom, bom, bom. Now, me personally, I could play this game all day, to be real. But I already been gaming for a while. We've been doing a nice stream. We already finished up a part of the My Rise, which I'm already very satisfied with. And this is more of like a switch up that, like, I admit I didn't plan because I didn't know I was going to beat the shit so fast. I thought I was going to at least have, like, at least a good two and a half three hours left on the story but it's okay it's all right for the next for the next time i hop on my rise i will be making like, my our female character i already have an idea of the character that i've been making over the years so i'm gonna remake her again he's coming off a nice week throwing the ball yeah four touchdown throws it's the Bucks and the Falcons coming up. But yeah, I already have a plan for like my female wrestlers. So I'm, I'm, I want to say definitely Thursday, we're going to get back into my rise again and start our second my rise to where we start working through the, the women's road. The Bucks offense working on a three game winning streak as they start play. But yeah, today I just want to make sure I enjoy the, the road I did with the, with the men's road. All right, so let's go ahead and get this game popping. Falcons versus Buccaneers. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Oh, he breaks a tackle. He's got an alley. And he's taken down. Oh, yeah, this is going to be an easy game. First well, for my runner, he's going to be a very easy game. Because I, I always seen the Falcons as more of a passing defense team. Not really much of a running defense team. They'll keep team. it on the ground. Starts and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays nice. from scrimmage. Okay, Absolutely. I just need you one more, and I can start my X Factor early. The ball both plays, and what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run. They tapped his helmet to go out of the game. There we go. Turn it on. The X Factor is on. 
11 yards there, just like last play. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. We're down to the 41. All right, I respect it. They had to cover me up after that. Last week's contest, 17 carries, 110 yards. Yeah, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does, and they want to make sure they get him there. On second down, starts. And pretty good running is nice. going close to that was a little rough, but we got it. Falcons 34. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. And they'll come to the line needing only Okay, let's get this one, and I'll go ahead and get us on the passing. On third down, starts. Wait, no. Did we get it? Did we get the ball back? Oh, that scared me. We got the ball back. That's like the second fumble I've ever gotten in, in this whole playthrough of. Like, completely. This is the second fumble I've ever gotten. It was a somewhat good throw, but it did lead to my, my guy getting sandwiched. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, hey, though, is going to take a here. peek, and we'll take a break. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Good, good, good. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it. It's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. And right now, we're a good there we go. All right, let's get my guy that touchdown. But the drive goal, I mean, the drive goal is for me to, to get a running touchdown. So let's make that happen. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. Here we go now on first and goal. As I don't know what it is for these Falcons, but it's like they're not doing good all around. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. There we go. 90. Touchdowns career wise. With now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Buccaneers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. There we go. And I already accomplished the gaining day goal. So this, is, their, so this is already going line. perfectly and right now. To some okay, this drive, we're going to do a lot more passing. CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset mm -hmm. losses, all of those things. But to do another one. back to him on first down and that to the 30 it'll be second down the like I said bro, this, 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 the Falcons ain't that well against uh, right some runners high. just one loss in their last seven games all right, let's go ahead and throw it out. Uh, try to get us, try to get us a first down and call. Keep this momentum going. Good shit, good shit, good shit. In their business, Cooper's first catch and good for a first down. All right, all right. Back to throw, McCullough. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Nice. All right, let me run this in real fast. Get us that first. And then we'll continue on. Up the middle they go. Starts trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. He's pissing me off with that. On third down. Starts and he gets it down Good. to 48 go. and up for the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down to this very next run. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Good shit, good shit. 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 Good
Now our team is just on fire at this point. We wait for that two minute one. It's a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, seven nothing ball. Game. I admit this this one is going by a little fast. It is. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you across state to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all, right, all the scores. Let's get a little greedy. Let's score before the half is over. In the National Football League. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Replay, replay, replay. On second down now. Okay, they was ready for that immediately. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Third and four. Okay, give us that first for calling. We just need that first. Operating from the gun. McCall, he finds his man. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. For another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcon 16. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Yeah, switch it out. Switch it out. I switched it to a running play. Why'd you throw it? Back at the 17. The Bucks gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. Alright, fine, fine. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward Get a touchdown, bro. To throw on second down. McCollum. Looking in zone, but it's That was the wrong type of throw, McCollum. First down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake, McCullough. That is caught at the seven. And come on, come on, let's go, let's go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Go for it. I am tapping the shit out of the out of the no huddle. Now that's gonna be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? Oh, come I mean, on, right coach. Had the out route. You could let us go for it, man. It's only one yard. Oh, we went for it. He just didn't want, want me to be on the field when doing it. We got this. I got this. They're running with stars. Like I said, I got this. Come on, Bones. Come on, Bones. Come on, Bones. There we go. And the Bucs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line, and they're able to push nice. this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this power football. Okay, good, good. So here are the Bucks to take over on offense. They're on a three game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. All right, so I got to make eight attempts running. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he'll fight for That was a little shaky. It was a little shaky. A couple of yards, second down. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Looking to throw on second down. McCullough. Ooh, it was a good attempt. He was he was out out forward, but he didn't throw it far enough. It's okay. I'm give you another shot, McCollum. Just get a first. Get us a first, bro. Don't worry about the short. Just worry about the first. And oftentimes, knock it away. McCollum. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall. It's all right. It's all right. We can't be falling off now. A time to get another look we are falling off. Right now. All right. We got to fix this. We got to fix the score on this drive. We need to score on this drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. 
Okay, okay. They turned up on the second half. I'll give them that. The first half, they was easy. Second half, they, they, they turned up. Right. I got to turn up that. They'll keep it on the ground. Starks and Shadow oh, yeah. tackles. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 110 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdowns. Nice shot. Nice. On first down, McCullough completes this one to Starks. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. My boy, you're showing off just because you kept me the two yards. You're acting like that really matters. What matters the most is that I got something positive over it all. Which keeps me moving stronger. Damn, man. Hope you're all right, though. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. One line, hold me down. I just need to get two yards. Let me get us our first. Great run. Great run. Let's go. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard as we start the fourth. Off the bootleg. McCullough across the middle. He's got it complete to St. Brown. Man, I got caught in the middle of that bullshit. But good thing we had a guy open. So I'm very happy about that. Defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because... You just can't sell out to stop the run. There's right, still enough right. time to this. I didn't even know I had an X Factor. That's fine. Let's go ahead and use it to the game. Let's get it. I always found the chicken the chicken wing dance always like one of the funniest celebration dances. It's so basic but it's but it's so good at the same time. Here in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Right. Good, good. You're doing good here, yeah. The backfield as he gears up to go again. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to All right, so the goal this time is just killing the clock. Over anything else, just killing the clock. the end zone for a second home, because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there. And boy, he looks happy when he is. Armstrong does. didn't have his arm very strong. Yeah, so that's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. That sounded horrible. On Here's second Sorry. and seven now from the 28. They'll keep it on the ground. Starts a pickup. Oh, just keep it positive. Keep it positive yards, yards positive runs. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, the shit, the shit. They have to do it again. They need that job. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up. All right, let's keep it pushing, y'all. Just keep killing this time. We're up right now. Let's keep it up. up the middle they go. Did I just fall? How did I just fall? I, I barely ran into ran into my lineman and I fell. The fuck was that? They'll try the left side. Starts and this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're calling. Please, not with the bullshit this time. Get us a first. Let's keep this going. We need to kill the clock and win. Get us a first, bro. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters. Good shit. Good shit. 
that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 40. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third right, down. The that two, gonna um, keep the drive yeah, alive two and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, from All a right, defensive nice, perspective, nice, nice. didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Right, let's go. They run the counter. Starks. And he gets this to the 35. Nice, nice, nice. And now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward. Break it off in the ball. Get off me. in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm here for the team, bro. He's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep hitting. Quality him. run. Quality run. run. I know they're trying to save the clock, but let's at least score them. Run. It looks like we have a player who was shaken up. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. Nice. Get it. Hold up. Four touchdowns in this game. That's good. He's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard charging run. We got this. This, right this game is in the bag because at most they're only going to be able to score one touchdown in either way. There's no guarantee they're going to score it fast. Our defense has been very strong. Tampa See, Bay like I said, got a now. turnover at the end of it all. And this one all over, but the shouting you might say. Now yeah, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but. Oh, excuse me. Just for the hell of it, go for one more run, just to have 30 attempts. A run here for Starks. And he is going to have a Bucks first down. You know, fuck it. Let's get greedy. I know I shouldn't. I know I, I know what I just said, but from how close I am and how it looks, let's get greedy. Again on the ground, again with Starks. I had to get that five. I had to get that five. I couldn't. I couldn't resist. I know coach is mad as hell. But I couldn't resist. I needed to get that five. <laughs> it was right there for me. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know. That was good. <laughs> I know coach is going to be mad as hell at me about it. Like, dude, just kill the clock. Don't run. Don't fucking run. Just kill the clock. I'm like, all right, fine, fine, coach. <laughs> I know he's mad as hell right now about that. All right. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they And go. that's a game right there. So, we won another one. Chalked up another victory. I do say, I always have fun with men. And I will forever have fun with men. So, I do hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Like I said, I was I was going to make it longer, but I wasn't expecting what was happening with my rise and everything. But we did finish my rise for now. We finished the first time for the for the my rise. We got three more attempts, three more because one more with the guys to do two times. And then we got the women that we're going to do two times. And then of course, like I said. Tuesday if you guys like zombie gameplays especially zombie shooters I will see you guys on Tuesday on zombie Tuesday but until then have a great Sunday enjoy your day and if you're a wrestling fan like me hope you're watching AW Dynasty tonight it's going to be a blast of a pay-per-view have a good night y'all yeah yeah